talk to start our day. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> How are you? Feeling dancing now. Yeah, you are dancing. You heard my TikTok. Say it with me. Say it with I don't know what that is. What is that? Do you know that song? No. I know nothing. I made, I a, made a video on my Instagram. You did? The other day. Is it about your hair? It was about my hair. I saw it. It went well. I liked it. It was actually meant to be a lot uh, longer than that. But then I figured out, apparently you can't do reels like and make them long. They have to be... Oh, cut into pieces. Yeah. So that's cool. I'm learning. You're learning. I'm trying. You're doing good. I'm also trying to remember what I tell people that I will do here and actually do it. <laughs> because then I... I know. Because when I don't, I get these messages like, um, not to be rude, but yeah. are you ever going to do that thing? I know you're right. We've got to we've got to follow through with some of our promises to post certain things. I've been terrible on social. I apologize, everybody. I'm I trying. Apologize. I'm really trying. Also, Instagram gave me this thing. What thing? Where people can give me uh, gifts. Mm? Yeah, I guess it's gifts a, or gi gifs. Gif, like, no gifts with a T. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. I don't know. It, it apparently hasn't rolled out to everyone yet. But if you have the ability to give gifts. On Instagram, you can give them to me. Like stickers? No, you buy these stars. Okay. And if you give, like if somebody makes a reel or something that you like, you can give them stars. And for every star they get, they get a certain amount of money. What? <laughs> it's bizarre. I've never even heard of it. But the, it was like this whole thing. It's and like a Venmo Instagram? Situation. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Honestly, it, it, they literally, I got this message yesterday or day soon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, recently, that's the word. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> are you okay over there? Are you are you having a seizure? <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> you are breaking. You're like going in three different directions. I don't know what you're saying. Clearly, did not medicate the ADHD today. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Ooh, um, okay. Right. Deep so, breaths. Deep breaths. Ready. Message from Instagram. Hi, you're not famous, but you can monetize things. And I'm like, cool, what does that mean? So I'm like opening up and it's like, no, you actually don't qualify to like monetize, monetize. But if people like what you make, they can give you the star and so many stars equals this. And then come to find out that it's not everybody can do it yet. I'm like part of the tester, which oh. I feel like was a bad call. Putting someone, I don't have that many followers. Uh, you probably have a lot compared to like an everyday person, you know, with oh, your exposure not, on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. No. I mean, with all of our many listeners out there. Hello, guys. No, I, I have a very dedicated almost 2,000 people. That's good. That's a lot. I love it. I'm I mean, you're like you're in high that. school and you're like, I feel like kids in high school have about that but that's because there's a billion of their friends and their you're friends 1. friends you're 1.7 and... million however yeah but that's low for like celebrity yeah but if they decided to give you gifts i want gifts i want some gifts are Instagram? they rating you with the stars i don't is know it like a rating situation? i'm not sure i don't know i don't know is enough. it like a tipping situation or like an uber rating I, don't know. I went yesterday to see if i could purchase stars myself yeah so i could start doing it to I like understand it and i don't know how to purchase the stars well, we'll we'll figure this out for you. Okay. We'll find, if you know we'll anything call about the Instagram it. gifts, <laughs> we'll call let our people me know. on Instagram and find I'm out. I'm very interested. In, um, Wait, what's the whole thing about rating people on Uber? Like, why do people, like, I understand why drivers need to be rated, but why do passengers need to be rated? Like, in case they don't want to pick you up because you puked in their cab yeah, or something? Yeah, so I think if you have too many rating. low ratings, they won't pick you up. So how do you know your rating? Oh, it tells you. Okay, that, I'm a 4.96. Is that What me? did you do? What did I do, you guys? How do you know? Does it say? Rating. Do you have comment? No, it explains to me how to understand my rating. Maybe I talk too much, or maybe I wanted to get out somewhere I wasn't supposed to. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. How does this crap work? It's very bizarre. Brain says no he's idea. a four point eight. So uh oh, that ain't good. Somebody had some attitude with a driver. I don't know. Or did you just smell bad? Um, he usually smells good. Yeah, he does. So I don't know. Um. So today's question day. Yes. Today's what we're going to call question day, people. Um, we're going to do things a little, a little different yet again. So we have questions from y'all. See, I live in the From South the interwebs. Now. From y'all in the World Wide Web. And we also <laughs> are going to ask each other our season five questions because we haven't had a guest yet. 
So we want to There's ask lots questions. today. Lots of questions. Thank you, Wait, guys. I'm put for on these. my pair of glasses. Do you have your pair of glasses? I Are don't. You... I have in contacts today. Oh, here's my pair of They're glasses. They're so pretty. I wore though. the light pinks today. I... <laughs> okay, my favorite on this list is the fact that we just got completely reprimanded. We, on we did your account of 1923 last week. <gasps> oh, really? Like Wait. this person took the time to legit Where? tear okay. you a new one. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wait. This is from Angela. She says, oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> the latest episode is full of misinformation. Ooh, here we go. But she still loves us. Oh, that's nice. Thank goodness. She said, first, 1923. It's great. Not a fact. Opinion. Okay. I can respect. Right. Yep, yep. Keep watching, she says. Tim McGraw's character died, as did Faith Hill's. Yes, because they are previous generation, right? Okay. Harrison Ford's character is Tim Oh, Tim McGraw's oh, wait, brother. No. His brother. I thought okay. it was his son. Well, oh, okay. she's correcting you. Jack, Jack is John. John's son. Elsa, narrator's brother's son. Okay. Spencer. in The one in Africa. Our brother. He's, he's, he's like a, a hunter in Africa. Oh, and we were right about Enola Holmes. I'm not sure. I think she must have got our conversation about McKenna Grace and Millie Bobby Brown backwards. Because we oh, knew that Millie Bobby Millie Brown, Bobby was Brown is Alona Holmes. Yeah, we and kind then of... she says the la lastly the Bengals player was not fired. Oh, so oh, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> do you have the brain? I mean, I know you have a brain. But she do you may have not the be brain? right, but uh, let me see. Let she me felt see. passionate enough to write this test. So Did the Bengals. What's the Bengals player name? Uh, oh, it starts with an O. Bengals player who had the late hit. Get fired. I mean, I got this information from my husband. He's kind of a Bengals penalty for late hit on Mahomes was the moment that Joseph Osai is his name. Uh, the Bengals. She's crying. I'm trying to read as fast as I can. Who, for whatever reason, unaware of the high leverage situation, hit the star quarterback well outside of field to make it worse. Osai had to put on the brakes quickly. He was about to. Did he get fired? I can't. I can't read that fast, Amanda. It's a huge article. <laughs> he is not fired. Did Joseph according Osai the, get fired by the Bengals? They all came to his defense, and he did not get fired, according really? to the brain. So, thank you, Angela. Bengals teammates know we loss to corrected. Chiefs wasn't Joseph Osai's fault. Okay, okay, maybe it was reported the next day that he was going to be fired. It was It was information out the day, right at the morning of. That's fine. And I was very upset about it, you guys. So, I'm sorry if I gave up misinformation. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad he's not fired, because... He was their biggest offender of the game. I so. love that somebody, though, because you know we always tell, Fact -check hear us. from people that they feel like they're in the room with us and they're talking yeah. to us. I feel like this is the first time somebody has actually, like, sent in their rebuttal, <laughs> and I am here for it. And not just asked us about our hair yes. routine. Um, no, that was great. Uh, okay, wait, I'm still trying to understand the 1923 thing, though. Real quick, family tree. John and Spencer are brothers. John is Jack's. Wait, Jack is John. Jack is John's son. John and Spencer are brothers. Okay. So, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. I'm not, I'm still not understanding that. I'm going to have to look at a family tree. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Lisa went, oh, Lisey went, said, what's your favorite dessert? Okay. I like all desserts except for Jello-y things. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So no flan, no Jello. No, yeah. If it's gelatinous, I am not. What about pudding, I though? Pudding is delish. Huh? Pudding? I like pudding. I like pudding. Uh, it's not my favorite, creamy, maybe, but I do like pudding. Yeah, I like fruity. I like chocolatey. I like cake. See, I don't like fruity. I like everything. I like cake and cupcakes. I'm good with a cookie, but I'd say if I'm going like just traditional, like all out favorite, chocolate ice cream. Just give me chocolate ice no. cream, plain chocolate ice cream. Oh, that's a whole different question though, because I feel like ice cream has its own like subdivision here. Okay. Um, favorite dessert in general is probably tiramisu if I'm just going to See, now one. I was just going to say the things I can tell you easily, the things I hate and tiramisu is at the top of that. How? Coffee. Uh, me no like coffee. We know this. I think I'm allergic. I even smell it and I'm like, is that a skunk? Like when Mark's make, Mark makes coffee in the house, I'm like, that's a skunk. Is that smell? But you're missing out on the creamy mascarpone. I know, but I think my body's telling me don't goodness. eat this. It's bad for mm. you. Now I want some. <laughs> uh, but but I, I do love a good key lime pie. Oh we'll yeah, even yeah, a key yeah. lime pie cheesecake. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like cheesecake. I like cakes. I I like pies as long as they're not like. I don't like. Uh, I like fruity pies like blueberry, cherry, those kinds of pies. Oh, did I ever tell you my Valentine's Day story with Mark about pies? 
No. So I'm pregnant with Brady. This is a great story, you guys, speaking of desserts. I'm pregnant with Brady. Mark is very against the holiday of Valentine's Day. He's like, they just, the one time he sent me, the first Valentine's Day we spent together, he sent, he sent me huge flowers. And when he saw them, he thought they weren't big enough for what he spent on them. And he's like, this is a ridiculous holiday. Everyone jacks up the prices of chocolate and, and flowers. I'm not doing this again. I'll, like, let's do something else. And I said, okay. So I'm pregnant with Brady. It's like 2007, 2008. It's, I'm a month away from delivering. And I said, all right, you don't want to get me flowers? That's fine. But Marie Callender's on the corner of our street when we lived in L.A. is having a sale, $5 a pie. I want four. And he was like, <laughs> well, what kind? And I said, you pick. Four pies. And I was like, I just want, we drove past it and I saw the big banner, four ninety five a pie. I was like, I want four pies. So Valentine's Day comes and goes. I try not to open the fridge. I'm like all day long. I'm trying not to get to the fridge so I can, I don't want to see. We put Mason to bed, right? He's he's only like one at the time. We put him to bed, and I'm like, all right, I'm in my bathrobe. I'm ready to watch You're a movie. You're ready for pie. I'm like, what'd you get? What'd you get? I open up the fridge. There's nothing. I was like, are you kidding me? Why is there no pie? And he's like, were you, you were serious? <gasps> and I was like, <gasps> does a pregnant woman I joke am, about pie? I am very pregnant. Are you freaking kidding me? Did he leave right then I to go get the pie? It. No, better. But I still don't, I didn't forgive him for many, many years for this. Um, but I was like, I am so livid right now. I, even if I was kidding, how great would it have been for you to actually buy four pies and have them in the fridge? And I said, I said four so you could pick them and I could just decide what do I want, you know, li lemon meringue or do I want blueberry or do I want, you know, and then you could get one for yourself if you want. Like, why wouldn't you get four pies? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you not spend 20 bucks on some pies and fill the fridge with pies? I'm freaking pregnant. I need pie. So he doesn't, but you know what he did? He found fresh blueberries in the fridge and he made me a blueberry um, uh, crumble. Oh. Like from scratch. But I was so livid, it didn't even matter. I think I barely ate it. I was just seething and angry and disappointed. Like, I just wanted I didn't my get $5 flowers, pie. And I didn't get my $5 pie. I was so mad. So then my friend, years later, I, I, I asked Mark if it was okay if I spent Valentine's Day in New York at Fashion Week. And a girlfriend and I, she knew the story. And she brought me a pie. In New Aww. York. <laughs> She's like, here's a pie. Happy Valentine's Let's go to Fashion Day. Week. Come on. And I was like, thanks. You're a great Valentine. But yeah, I've never let him live it down, even though he did make me a blueberry crumble on the spot from scratch. That's really sweet. Though. Looking back on it, it is. But I was so like seeing red that I couldn't even appreciate the the <laughs> It is kind of bad to not give a pregnant woman pie when <sighs> that's all she asked for. <laughs> so mad, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Okay. All right, what's next? Uh, Victoria says, if you could recommend a TV show from the 90s to watch, what would it be and why? The only one I ever really watched, I want to say, that I have a true memory of watching like every episode was 90210. Frasier. Yeah, you always say that. I love Frasier. It's not a, a show for a kid your age. I'm very baffled by you liking Frasier at the age you were at when it was on. It's because I'm sophisticated. You're so sophisticated. <laughs> Let me see it. I did try and drink sherry once like Frasier. <laughs> It didn't go well. <laughs> Sherry's like what's something you drink. It kind of tastes like 80s. raisin juice, Ugh. which old people like. Uh, <laughs> it, it was really sad. Pringes. I really wanted to like it. I guess yeah. I would only have to say nine hundred two one zero. I mean, I think I liked like. Um, mm, I mean, I watched a little bit of Blossom or. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I didn't really like because I wasn't really big into Family Matters. Or I mean, step I watched step all of or, them. But my favorite as an ad oh well that in um, Next Generation, Star Trek Next, oh. Next Generation. What about was Seinfeld at the Seinfeld's at yeah. this time? Yeah, so I was 90s. into a little bit of Seinfeld. I was into a, I wasn't into Friends until I met Mark. What was another one? I'm sure I should probably w shouldn't have been watching it, but I did watch it with my mom. Was it um, Candace Bergen? Um, oh, uh, ah! uh, not Murder She Wrote. Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown. Yes, yeah. that one. I remember liking. Oh, I wonder funny. if it's still good. I used to actually watch Dynasty. I no, Dallas. Dallas, but yeah. that was 80s. That was, that 80s. was 80s. Yeah. Dynasty was 80s as well. Yeah, right? I think they were both 80s. I think there was like shows Dynasty my mom watched came that back I was and now it's gone again? Oh, yeah. Well, there's Reboot. And Dallas, too. There's Did a Reboot Dallas of Dallas. Yeah. Too? With, uh, I want to say, uh, what's his name? Is it Jesse Metcalf? No. Um, oh, gosh. And oh, it, speaking of um, reboots from the 90s. I just watched the new Night Court. How was it? Um, funny, is cute. It on, what is it on? What channel? I don't know. You don't know. You just Google it's these things out there in the streamerverse. 
Peacock. But do, are all the episodes out or just one at a time? I don't know. I've watched the first two. Oh, okay. Um, it's the girl who plays Bernadette in Big Bang Theory. I, forgive me, I cannot remember her actual name right now. Is is there any homage to Marky Post, my beloved? Not departed? so far. No. But that doesn't mean it won't be. I hope they're they do. they've they're digging in with a lot of the nostalgia. So I have a feeling yeah. there yeah. will be. Um but it was cute. The first one was kind of like you could tell it's the pilot, not a huge budget, lighting's mm. weird. Mm. Second one, things improve. The writing improves. Um there was one specific line that I was I don't laugh very freely at TV or like stand up comics or yeah. things like that. And it's not. That's funny. I don't either. I just don't have the compulsion in those moments. I'm being entertained. I'm enjoying it. Well, I also am afraid to miss the next one, the next part. I just, but this, this one specific line, I won't even say it. I don't want to ruin it because it's so funny. I was cackling at the television. <laughs> so I think the writers are onto something. I'm looking forward to seeing another episode. That's good. So check That's out good. Night Court. All right. We'll do. What about, did we, we talked about 90s show, right? You yes. watched 90s show. You like that one. We talked about one. that last week. I did like it. I think, again, get past the first episode. Yeah. And it's yeah, still... there's a lot of these that it's like get past the first episode, right? That's how I felt with like White Lotus the first time around. and Yeah. And I'm, uh, we just are having the worst time with Jack Ryan. Like, I want to watch it, but now I've seen each episode three times. I've watched two just episodes three times because Mark will not, Mark will not stay awake. Then it's not working. That dude needs to like, I or I just need to Here's keep going. I'm afraid sign. to keep going. All right, what's next? Oh, will there ever be a Clarissa Explains It All reunion? Do you guys know what? I would have said no because we've lost touch completely. I mean, this was before emails and phone calls. This is landline mm -hmm. days, right? This is like hard to keep in touch um, unless you can go to Facebook to your high school and connect with your old pals or go to a reunion. Um, but our producer here, otherwise known as He's the brain. He's working some magic. The he brain. Is. He has reached out and he has found some contacts to some people, cast and crew. And I've had so many lovely um, comments from some of the crew, and I am hoping to find some of the cast and maybe bring maybe our little reunion will be right here. Oh, <gasps> that would be so Should cool! Should we do that? Should we do a little Clarissa yes. reunion here? God, you guys, I haven't seen them in thirty years. That would be less wild. Like Twenty-eight. It's gonna be weird if we do it. It'll I get be... to moderate that, right? Absolutely. Yes. I don't it's know. So I don't fun. know what we. Oh gosh, it would be very odd to see people after so long that we were so close. Ugh, it'll be really interesting. I want to know what everybody's doing. Oh yeah, remember when we went to AEW and you saw like the camera guy? Yeah, so that the, was wild. Yeah, one of the um, steady cam. That means the camera that they carry around. Um, who was doing some of the footage that gets close to the ring and whatnot? He came running over to me. I saw him and I was like, I know him. And he came running over to me and I was like, he was the sound Y'all like guy. jumped into each other's arms. Yeah. It was like, y'all made eye contact from across the arena. And it was like, -na 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 -na. those guys on that set, I mean, the men and the women. Um, but there's something especially about like the younger men that just protected me. It that was really was like, sweet. Y'all were both just so excited to see each other. I am so excited. I've been. I've heard from a few at the camera department and whatnot, and I am so excited to maybe connect with everybody. I might have to go to Orlando just to see the crew. Oh, we if everybody, I'm assuming everyone's let's still go to fine. Orlando. Like, let's go to Orlando. You want to go? Let's like go. today? Uh, I'll go. I'm down. I mean, what do we have to do? Like, show up. I got a place. Say hi. Talk to some people. Have some drinks. You know, speaking record of the Orlando, whole thing. if you ever need a place to stay, your B and B one on Instagram. What Shameless plug. <laughs> Airbnb one? Airbnb one. Airbnb one. That's you the can website. stay in my house there. That's what you do? You use that website? Yeah, Airbnb. We're on Instagram. I did not know this. I've got to follow you. Go follow the Airbnb. It's <laughs> I awesome. I will. All right, what else we got? Okay, Cisco wants to know, will you ever have a non-celebrity guest on your pod to discuss motherhood and TV? Yes. The answer is yes. In fact, we just did. We did? Oh. Well... We did. Y'all won't hear it for another week or two. But we did. And it's good. Yeah, it is a good one. Yeah, she's sort But the thing is, she is sort of a celebrity in a way because people know her work. And book club. Our book club friends. Book club. Are, well, our book club friends. Brooke. They're, they're kind of. Brooke's not. Brooke's, Brooke's, a, Brooke's a mom. Brooke's, Brooke's a, a mom. Brooke's a mom and a, and a, a realtor. If you are interested in us having on like just some of our normal mom friends, we could do that. Yeah. They would love I think that. we should. Well, and we did. We had our friend Wendy on to talk about Harry Potter. That's true. She's a, a non -cele She's a celebrity in our world, but she's famous to me. She is. She's a love. Um, um, but we, yes, we're that surrounded was by really cool mothers. We we have such a great support group. We should bring those ladies in. Oh, you know who'd be hilarious? Martha <gasps> oh. Ann. 
Hmm. We should have our friend Martha Ann. Martha Ann would be a hoot. We have a group we call the Wellies, guys. We'll bring the Wellies in here. Can you imagine? And our friend Hillary. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. The personalities. No one would be able to hear us while we'll be talking over each other. <laughs> it's worse than just you and I. It would be amazing. It's like five of you and I. Amanda, do you like what's on my face right now? I love them. These are my pear glasses. I'm obsessed. They're so cool. You know why they're so cool? Because you can literally change them anytime you want. Also, because I can see. Well, that's when true I too. read, I need to see, and it really helps. So why stick with the same old pair of glasses when you can have these wonderful glasses? I love that they're lightweight too, so they sit nicely on my face. And then you snap on the frames that you want on top. You can have sunglasses. I've got plaid on right now, but when I take the plaid off, if I just unsnap these, I got a nice light pink color going on. They're so cute. They're so affordable. They're so easy to wear. Um, I mean, this is just a very exciting partnership for me. Yeah, you can change your glasses quicker than you change your hair or quicker than you can change your shirt. Like, you just literally take the magnetic frame off the front and you've got a different pair of glasses on. It's awesome. It basically makes it to where it's the only eyewear you will ever need. Top frames start at $25 so you can build a collection that's unique to you. You can match your outfit, support your home team, or rep your favorite superhero in a snap. And today, over 200 million children worldwide who need glasses can't get them. So every time you buy a pair, Pear provides glasses to a child in need. So to get these glasses and stay as fresh as your unique style, go to PearEyewear.com slash WWB for 15% off your first purchase. That's Pear, P-A-I-R, Eyewear.com slash WWB. Thank you, Pear, for being a sponsor of What Women Binge. We have to do our questions real quick for season five. Uh, a reboot that you liked better than the original. Uh, Can there be one? Can there be Say by the bell. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, you okay? You dying? I'm dying. I don't know. A uh, reboot that I liked better than the original. I can't. I can't call one. Let's go with Sabrina. Um, cover Wait, no, you didn't like Sabrina's reboot. No, I. Uh, I didn't watch it. Um, okay, it's not that I Hang didn't on. like it. It's very different. Uh... God. Well, I love the Ghostbusters reboot, but I can't say I loved it more than the original. No. Um, what about the Night Court? <gasps> no. Yeah, How I Met Your Father? No. Mm. I, Although this is a tough one. Apparently, this new season is showing promise. I haven't seen it yet. All right. But I'm, I'm, my interest is peaked. All right, maybe I'll watch it because the first one I couldn't quite get through. Um, is there a cover of a song you think is blasphemy? Um, blasphemy. I feel like, like, well, the thing is, Elton John's kind of remaking his own music right now, right? Like he did Rocket Man. With I just Britney don't Spears think I care enough Lipa. about music to be like blasphemy. Um, I love music. I, there's not a song that I. It, oh, oh, I know, I know. Some of these covers of Rainbow Connection. Oh, because I love Rainbow Connection. And I think there are beautiful covers of it, but there are also some really significantly horrible versions oh, of it. Oh, you just made me think of mine. Mine is uh, the Christmas song that Judy Garland did live in one of my favorite Christmas movies, Meet Me in St. Louis. She did Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Mm -hmm. And all of the covers, which are billions of them, they use the wrong lyrics. They use different lyrics because I guess the Judy Garland lyrics are too dark and sad because in the moment in the movie that she's talking about, um, it's all about we'll we'll have to muddle through somehow. So her lyric is we'll have to muddle through somehow, and everyone else has said put oh. everyone else's version pretty much is put a put a shining star up on the top of the tree or something like that on the high on the highest branch. Bow. bow, thank you, bow. I knew yeah. you like that note. <laughs> So she says we'll have to muddle through somehow, and they say put a, a shining, shining star, star up, up on, on the, the highest bow, bow, which I'm like, Pfft. oh, how about that terrible um, cover of Imagine they did during COVID? Oh, yeah. With like 800 yeah. Well, celebrities. I appreciated the sentiment. But yeah, Imagine mm. is not one you can really, mm. you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's like yesterday. I wouldn't redo no. yesterday either. Um, what are you most proud of? Besides well, your children. Okay, besides my children. Um... I would say outside of having my children, my biggest accomplishment, besides bagging my husband, because he's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how I got that lucky. But then also going back to school and getting my weather forecasting oh, there you certificate. Because I that was something I always wanted to do, and I did not have the confidence in myself when I was going back to school the first time yeah. to commit to weather. I'm not great at math. I don't know if you know that about me. 
<laughs> terrible at math. Um, it's it's a huge problem. Huge. <laughs> um, yeah. And part of weather and meteorology is definitely a lot of calculus. Yeah. So um, by going back, I proved to myself that I could do it. A, there it's you go. Never too late to there do something go. that you really want to do. And uh, I did it. I survived it. That's awesome. I think so. um, mine was probably one of the highest moments I've ever had was when I did my first episode of the Goldbergs. I directed the first episode, my first episode of the Goldbergs. It was season five. So I was stepping into another set mm -hmm. where I didn't know anybody. I didn't know the characters very well, like what I'd seen on TV, but I didn't have any backstory. I hadn't developed these characters like I had on everything else I'd ever directed. I developed the characters. So this was like going in blind in a way and just being like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't, I can't do this. Like imposter syndrome. Yeah. The day I wrapped and I got in the, the van to be driven back to base camp, I was like, and even the transpo woman was like, you killed it. Everyone loved you. I was like, really? Like it was the highest high. I was like, oh my God, I did, I did it. it. I prayed so hard for that one. I was so proud of that. Um, and the then recently feeling. like finishing a script when I took screenwriting course in 2021, I went back to school, back to college. And like took the screenwriting course and I when I remember I remember being in my in-laws house I think at Thanksgiving or something and I wrote fade to black and I was like I did it nobody else could appreciate them everyone in the room was like I'm sorry what I'm like fade to black I did it like I did I wrote a script you guys and they were like great but I was like no I did it like I was so proud that's that a moment. big deal yeah that's and someday awesome. I'm gonna throw my cap in the air and graduate something and then that they'll be proud of that too <gasps> Can I throw a graduation? Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be 80, but yes. It's and you'll cool. be younger, so it's okay. You'll be 70. Uh, if you could time travel, where and when would you go? Hmm. Um, can I go, like, multiple places? Yeah, try a few. Jump a few real quick. Go. Uh, I would probably go back to, like, 2000. 2000? Really? For just a minute. Yeah. Just because I would love to... Hey, Relip, do you remember the absolute anxiety of Y2K? Wait, Y2K. Yeah, it yes. was crazy. Everyone thought that world world was going to end. Yes, I remember staying over at a friend's house for New Year's and sitting in her driveway at midnight on New Year's and just wondering, what is the world going to be like when we wake up tomorrow? <laughs> I didn't go to sleep. Um, I would love to revisit that. Um, <laughs> I would love to go back and like, see my grandparents as teenagers oh look at you you're getting sentimental i was gonna go like 1923 because i wanted like see well, I'm what getting there too. and a prohibition no and, like, i like antibiotics too the, much for that i want to do the charleston uh, <laughs> no i would love to go back like okay so like midnight in paris one of my favorite movies ever and they go back into like the 20s mm -hmm. in paris during you know the surrealists oh, and all of that you be there for like, like moulin oh. rouge days and, i mean yeah. for like a minute do some absinthe, drink some absinthe or something. Uh, like, absinthe, ugh, I don't like that taste. That might have been a little bit before 1920s. But but anything that tastes like licorice or fennel, I am out. I think no, for me you. it's like the flappers plus like the, it feels like women, like suffragette, like movement of like women empowerment started around then. So it feels yeah. like it's like a safe decade, but it's also like. Uh, tuberculosis. Well, and prohibition. And I like, <laughs> I like my gin. Tuberculosis. <laughs> Spanish flu was on around but, Which it feels like I have right now. I'm like, oh. Oh, man. It's cool. Count that stuff out. Um, childhood dream job. Disney princess. Shocking, right? <laughs> totally shocking. Um, trapeze artist. Yeah, see, we, we were two pieces. And I've still never been on a trapeze, although oh, I think Sabrina was. I did want to be a blue angel for a long time, too. Oh, really? And I was a Boy Scout once. You were? I was. Okay. And when I was a Boy Scout, that's when I wanted to be a blue angel. Because oh, we got to go to the air show. And yeah. That, that was really you cool. You want to fly those little planes? Yeah. Uh, what's the best advice you've ever been given? <laughs> I have two versions of this. Mine was Silence. like, they were both from my mother. The first one was, don't wear mascara. It'll burn your eyelashes. You won't have any when you're in your 40s. She was right. I didn't wear mascara for a very long Thank time. Thank God for Newsil. Started a, <laughs> which what? That, that stuff they gave us to put oh, on our eyelashes now. That, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then... Uh, uh, I have to say, she also told me to trust my own instincts as a mother when I was getting a lot of information from a lot of people. She said, you're a good mom. You need to do what's right for you and your baby. And that was great advice. I had to go, you know what? You're right. I can trust my instincts on this. Trying to think of nothing like it. This sounds terrible. I've been giving great advice. Nothing's coming to mind, though. Um... Cause you like, you're like Ronald Reagan. You like trust, but verify. Yeah. 
It, it's just you know, like you get that advice and you be like, mm, let me sort through that a little bit. <sighs> Nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> Any beauty tips that you stick with? Oh well, I've got tons. What do you, what you want? Give me your best one. Oh, Aquaphor, everything. Oh, that's funny. Joey Lawrence has the same one. It's it's Weird. the best ever. Put yeah. it everywhere. That's a very southern thing. Like my mother in law is always like, take your eye makeup off with Vaseline. I'm like, really? Mm. That seems very painful. It's like how to get milia one hundred and one. How do you get that out of your eyeballs? <laughs> like if it gets in there. No, there is this great product though for taking off eye makeup. It's Beauty Counter Lotus Cleansing Balm. What? It's, really? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm I just use you. a little witch hazel and a bamboo pad. Well, I, will... oh, the reusable um, cotton pad. I love those. Yeah, the bam. I use this bamboo one. It's black on one side and white on the other. And it. I think they don't sell it. I, found, I had it on Amazon. And I can't find it anymore. But like the black side's for like taking off the makeup, and the white side I use for like my skin. Yeah. And just like making sure that everything from like my water, like anything that any well, hard stuff in the water, double comes off. cleansing. I double cleanse, but I still feel like the residue from like any chlorine is on my skin or like tone. Well, that's what I use. The that's what I use. The witch hazel. How many steps is your skincare? Four, maybe. So I clean. I witch hazel down to four. Yeah, that's all. What do you do? Well, maybe five if you include eye cream. So like I do. I wash. I tone with like my witch hazel and my pad, and then I put on a serum, whether it's like vitamin C or a hyaluronic. Then I do a moisturizer and maybe I do an eye cream and maybe if it's like a random night, I'll put on a, a an oil on top. I think mine's like 10. You have 10? I like skincare a lot. What the hell are you doing? A How lot can of you things. do that many? You can't put that many things on your skin. There's Gilly, not that much. Though. I'm a little you broken have, out today. Does that mean like some of the things don't actually work because you're doing too many things? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. My skin okay. is flawless. Okay, but I... So clearly it's working. I'm like, I had to simplify at some point. When um, I was right around your age, I was like, oh, nope. Oh, you know what though? Great advice. Uh, it's not really advice. It's a practical tip. My grandmother used to always put panties over her head after she'd do her makeup what? to put on her clothes to make sure her makeup didn't transfer. Panties? Yeah. She'd like take clean big ones. old giant clean panties. Yeah. And she'd put them over her head, put her clothes on, and then pull it off. They do have things like that. You don't have to use your panties. Um, hey. They do have things like that. Use what you got. You can use. You like got some a, big old granny panties. You put them on your head. Yeah, but you can use a, a, a like a, not a shower cap, but like something that's cloth, right? Sure. Pillowcase. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They use that sometimes in the industry. I, I but that was all, and always wash your face before you go to bed, no matter what. Oh gosh, always, always take your makeup off. I, like even if you're super drunk and want to puke, like. Oh, take your and off. I should have listened to my grandmother. I think we've had this conversation before. She always told me never give in to the non underwire bras, and she was right. Really? Why? Because COVID, none of us left our house, so none of us wore real bras. Yeah. And gravity. That just might be age, gra- mama. No, no, your they were perfect were little. before COVID. Okay. You're blaming COVID on droopy boobs. Yeah. Come on. I am blaming. I, grandmother was right. That's amazing. That's amazing. Beth Broderick and Caroline Ray always told me, make sure you wear a bra because I would never wear a bra. You have to wear a bra. You have to wear a bra. Your, bro, your boobs are going to sink. I'm like, no. It was really from my kids. Mine are totally uneven from baby number three. I'm just going to okay, say that. Okay, uneven only is different one than, than. Well, but only one droops. And I think that's because Aww. there was one was that. It the favorite? It was the favorite. Every kid has a favorite. Yeah. Um, He's the best. <laughs> Movie or show you're looking forward to? <laughs> <laughs> Movie or show I'm looking forward to? Um, Miss Maisel is going to return soon, and it's the last season, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, oh, there's something coming out in March that I just yeah completely same f- with me. What I can't is remember it? What it was? Brain. Uh, was it a Will Smith movie or something? What was it? What was it? It's a movie coming out in March, and I'm really excited about it. Cocaine Bear? Is no. it Cocaine Bear? Are you really excited? Oh, are you excited about? Are you excited oh, about Mario? Mario! Bar- Mario Brothers? <laughs> I am so not excited about that one. That's How are weird. You not- Ooh, the cherry. It's kind of weird. It's- um, Wonka. Wonka's coming out. Another one with Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. I never know how to say his name. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sure there's a lot of young girls. Chalamet. Chalamet. Joker. No. Scream, another Scream? Mm-mm. Scream Mm-mm. 6? Fast and Furious 10? Oh, our friend Rita Moreno's in that one. Avatar she 3. Is. And that's the only reason I would see it, because how many do we really need? Barbie! Sorry, Barbie, that I was really loud, that. you guys. Margot Barbie, Robbie, right? Barbie. With Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Oh my gosh, he's so right. Handsome. The chair. There's another Oppenheimer oh. coming out. Is that how you say it? Oppenheimer? Okay. Oppenheimer. Equalizer, another Equalizer. There's just a ton. There's a billion different movies and things that are coming out, guys. What is Little some, Mermaid? What is something you wish people knew about you? Um, 
uh, I've told you guys everything. Honestly, there's like, uh, <laughs> I wish you knew I was short. No, I don't know. You are short. I know. I just want everyone to know that and stop telling me that I'm short. And I am tall. Because I know. You are very tall and I am very short. I have large feet. You have small feet. <sighs> yeah. I mean, that's um, proportional. Thank God it's not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. Um, I'd be like Ronald McDonald. You're my little you'd, hobbit. You'd be like, <laughs> you'd be like Barbie. <laughs> her feet are not proportional I'm to Barbie, her body. Your skipper. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect. <gasps> Is there a skipper in the new Barbie movie? That's amazing. I sure hope so. Do you have a hobby? Yes. You have a lot, but what's yes. one? What's pick, pick your favorite? Oh, I couldn't pick a favorite. I have lots. I like to create things. Um, mostly that ends up being costumes for my children these days, but um, really anything interior design, you name it. If I can create it, do I have a hobby? Yes. You love to scrapbook? Snowboard? I love to scrapbook, but I haven't done it in like 10 years. You like to ski? I love to ski and snowboard. Uh, you love to travel? I love to travel. You love to work out? Yeah. That's, just, watch be, that's just out of necessity. I don't like it. Um, I, I've, I tried to learn piano. I wanna, I've want i been learning Italian for years. Yeah. I, I do. I dabble. Oh, tap dancing. Tap dancing. I haven't done that in a while. I've got to do that. You gave me a great Christmas present. I've got to use. Um, yeah. All right. What about, are... do you have a favorite stand-up comic? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yes. I love stand-up comedians. I can't remember their names very often. <laughs> and it's not, that's not a site. I'm just terrible with names in general. Um, we just watched the Nate Bargatze special, oh, yeah. and that was really good. I love him. Mark watched a little of that, I think. Um, I'm trying to think of who my favorites are. I love, for, I'm not, oh, uh, what's her name? Fortune something. The blonde. Oh, yeah. Hair. She's hilarious. I'm trying to think. I have a bunch of friends that are comics. So, of course, I have to say, like, Caroline Ray oh, and Judy Caroline, Gold. Oh, Caroline, for sure. Um, but then there's also, like, I mean, Eddie Izzard is a, he has a show called, um, uh, he had a special out in, like, the late 90s, I think it was, called Dressed to Kill. And it's just me, my sister, my friends. We've watched that over and over and over again. But, That's like, David one. Spade, Chris oh, Rock. So, we just saw Shane Gillis. He was great. Um, the the guy who plays the coach on the Goldbergs, what's his name? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, Brian Callen. Yeah, he's really funny. Oh, that's funny. That's another. He's one. a funny guy in real life. He's um, a character. So those are some of my favorites. Um, all right, real quick. What's your what's your what's your emails at, Mama? Ew. When do you want to ask me this? You're yeah. not gonna like it. I'm not. You're right. I never do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm at ten thousand. Four hundred and one. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Yeah, I'm at sixty six. Ew! <laughs> Why are you so boring? I'm manageable is what I am. I'm able to stay organized. <laughs> I think you're boring. How many texts do you have? Three. Oh, I have eight, but most of those are from. I think. How many three. voicemails do you have? One. <laughs> what do you have as far as voicemails? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? I'm scared. Uh, 225. <laughs> 225? Is that one of those that says... <laughs> no. I'm really mad at you right now, and I'm going to vomit. Like, that's making me nauseous. You have to... No. And by the way, most of them are from one person. <laughs> no. You well, need to go in yeah. and delete. Okay, here's How the thing. How does your phone even have space? Um, What, do you have a one terabyte? I don't know. Holy crap. The brain buys my phones. All right, let's know. do this with that real quick. Are you ready? <coughs> original or reboot? Original. Me too. Musical theater or music concert? Theater. Concert. Action or adventure? Adventure. Adventure, for sure. I don't like action. Mm. Car chases start, and I'm like, I tune out. I'm like, what's my email at? Um, Super Bowl or World Series? You don't care. Super Bowl because of the commercials. <laughs> Super Bowl for me. Um, carbs or sugar? Sugar. Carbs. Aisle or window? Window. Window because I need to lean and sleep. Yes. I'm a sleeper with any moving, any moving, anything. I am. I can asleep. handle the other two, but I start to really like question why I chose it if I'm in the middle or on the aisle. If I'm with my kids, I will take any seat, um, but I... Because my kids usually demand the window. So I usually am in the middle or the aisle. Also, in my defense on the voicemail thing, this is going to sound really sad, but it's the truth. One of the reasons why I do not delete voicemails is because when my mother passed away, 
I was very, very grateful that, that you kept it. I had voicemails from her. Well, but here's the thing, real quick. Let me play you one of mine. Listen to this. Here is, this is from 2017. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait. This is Brady. We just wanted to say good night, and if you ever get the chance, can you call us? Oh. Bye. Is that so sweet? He's 14 now. He's like, what's up? Mom. Yesterday he was talking. Mom, I thought he where's was Mark. the food? But then there's one. Listen to this one. He was so mad at me. But that's, yeah, so I keep some. Listen to this. Hello, Mom. Sorry, I hung up on you, you jerk. <laughs> Can you? I mean, I'm saving that to play at his wedding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Then I have one where Mark tells me I'm beautiful. And then I have one from Caroline Ray where she tells a funny story. And then I have oh. one from Nick Bakai where he tells me how much he loves me. Like... I have a See, few. See, that, and that's why, and honestly, a lot of this is just negligence and that I will just call them back before yeah, yeah, I yeah. listen to the voicemail. I get that. I keep them so I that I will respond. I do go through and listen to them eventually and get rid of them. Um, it's a lot easier to do when there's only 125 versus 10,000 like, yes. emails. Yes, Um I'm going to send you reminders but, about yeah, everything, so, all of it. In and, the car on the way home today, can you please just check some of those, listen to them, and see if you need to delete them? Like, I had some from, like, car dealerships. The ones I have saved are, funny enough, Beth Broderick, Nick Bakai, and Caroline Ray, Aww. Mark and Brady. Like, that's it. And one from my uh, my broker. There you go. <laughs> that's it. Pretty good. Yeah. This but, was so fun. Yeah, this was fun. So we'll, uh, next week we're going to have a guest. Mm-hmm. Yay. And she's very special and cute. And she's really pretty, guys. I only say that because she looks like me. But oh Go yeah, get our your merch. Hoodie. Don't forget your or merch. Your t-shirt. I like your hoodie, hoodie that you're wearing, right? We I'm don't have my... our mugs here. We need to. What? But there's mugs. Binge t-shirts. There's new merch coming soon. So. Yeah. So check out. That's on whatwomenbinge.com. You can check out everything. You can find our YouTube link. You can, um, you can connect with us. You can buy it's our merch. There. You can do all of it there. You, if you want to listen to us on Spotify or Apple, if you would rate and review, and don't forget to go on our Instagram and uh, ask us some questions for next week. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. 